like a Brewers World Series win. <laughs> or the Knicks, uh, well, that'll be next year, but the Knicks can... I don't really care about the NBA. The Knicks can win the title for all I care. It'll make you happy. <laughs> Go for it. Hey, man, I need one. It's been a while. <laughs> Have they ever won one? We, we, yes, we, we, yes, it's, but it's been a while. When was the last Knicks title? Uh, from what I remember, uh, we were talking about it. Uh, me and my buddy were talking about it like a few weeks ago. Um, uh, I think it was like in the 70s, 60s or 70s. Um, yep. 1973, it looks like. Yeah, that's what I remember because we were talking about it. I was just like, we got close in the 90s a few times. Um, but, you know, it was Jordan's time, so. On and I do. Year, the New York Knicks won the title in 1970 and 1973. Uh, for your awareness, the Milwaukee Bucks won the title in 1971. The Bucks? Yep. They also went to the finals in 1974, but they lost. Yeah, but the Bucks? Yeah. So the Bucks pretty much have the same level of success as the Knicks. No, no. no. I mean, <laughs> the Knicks have two ahead. titles. The no. Bucks have won, but the Bucks went to the finals in '74, which is more recently than than, than the Knicks won. Yeah, um, but you got to realize, like, we have like legendary players, like you know, Kareem Don Abdul Starks. Kareem Abdul Jabbar was with the Bucks in '71 when they won the title, right? You know, he came up through the Bucks organization. Yeah, but he's not known for like being on the Bucks. Like, I mean, he was there from '69 to '75. He was there for six, seven years. Yeah, but like when you think of Kareem Abdul Jabbar, you don't think of him and the box. You, you, I don't know. And and plus, like we have in New York, you know, you have a lot more uh, other. You have more numerous players that are more recognized, like Hewing and Oakley, John Starks. You know, so Oscar Robertson. He was a buck. Who? Oscar Robertson? You've never heard of him? Uh, I mean, sounds a little bit familiar, but... Another Hall of Famer. Sidney Moncrief. Okay, I know him. Ray Allen. Yeah. They're all Bucks. Yeah. I mean, huh. Ray Allen was with the Bucks for like eight years, nine years before the team traded him. To Maybe I have to give uh, the Bucks another look at. Yeah. I always thought, you know, like, the Bucks were kind of like... Yeah, you could play, but, you know, like, you'll never, you know, like, it, it's kind of like, you know, if you're playing in, the, you know, like, in the park and, like, you get somebody who's like, hey, can I play? He's like, yeah, sure. It was like, you know, we, we need another player anyway. Kind of thing. I mean, Moses Malone played for the Bucks for, like, four years. Who? Moses Malone. Oh, really? Oh. All right. I'm going to have to look up the Bucks and give them a little, uh, all right, I did not know that. I thought, um. I don't know. I was an 80s, 90s kid, so like, you know, growing up, it was always like the, you know, the Bulls, the Lakers, the uh, Charlotte Hornets, you know, uh, Phoenix Suns, you know, uh, got a little Barkley, you know. Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak, man. He's like one of the biggest stars in the NBA right now. He's a buck. The Greek freak? Is that what they... That's Wait. The okay, he's no. literally on the cover of NBA 2K because he's like probably one of the top five players in the NBA right now. He's on the cover of NBA 2K? Yep. 2019? Dude's legit. Ah. Huh. Hmm, interesting. I guess the... Uh, all right, I'm going to have to look up the well, box. All right. They just built a new arena. It opens this year. Oh, really? The Pfizer 4. Anyway, this is just so stupid <laughs> that we're still talking. 